Hey guys, we're gonna get started today. We're gonna do our warm up um, before we do our lesson. So we're gonna get started with some running, skipping, hopping, galloping, just some different things to get your body moving a little bit. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Make sure you have some space, whether you're indoors, whether you're outdoors, you can be in your grass. If you're not in grass on concrete, make sure you have on tennis shoes um, so that you're nice and safe and there's nothing around you, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna do some running around our cones. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. So we're gonna run all the way around, back to the beginning, okay? We're gonna try some running with high knees and some booty kicks too. So we're gonna try some high knees and then we're gonna do some booty kicks. Now we're gonna move on to our chasse, or we call them gallops. So we're gonna put one foot, I'll start with my right foot, arms out nice and straight, and we're gonna gallop. Make sure you hop in the middle. And then I'm gonna actually switch my feet, so I'm gonna do my left foot this time on the way back. So we make sure we do both feet. Okay, now we're gonna do some skipping. So we're gonna make sure our arms are out again, and we're gonna make sure that we lift our knees up really high off the floor. Try and point your toes. So knees up, touch your toe to your knee, all the way around. Okay, now we're gonna walk in releve, or tippy toe, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna make sure our arms are up nice and tall, fingertips touching, and we're gonna stretch up really tall. Make sure you pull up really tall in your tummy. No bending in your knees. Then you can try it with your arms out to the side. All the way around. Okay, next thing we're gonna do are some penguin walks. So we're gonna either, I think we'll do our hands on our hips this time, and we're gonna walk on our heels, stretch out our lower legs, our calves a little bit. Don't let those toes touch the carpet. Try to keep your legs straight, all the way around, and how about this time we do some bear crawls, and I want you guys to do it with your elbows straight and your legs straight, okay? So we're going to try to walk really tall on your tummy, try to get your hands and your feet flat, okay? And then why don't we try a, try a crab walk, okay? So we're gonna sit down, and I want you to try a crab walk. Don't let that booty touch the ground. All the way to the end. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our stretch for the day. So we're gonna start with your hands on your hips, and we're gonna go side, side, forward, back, side, side, forward, back, Okay, we're gonna circle our head, maybe do two or three to one side, and then make sure you do the same on the other side. Okay, arms out, really straight, feet are apart, and we're gonna circle our wrist, nice tight arms, you can do it in both directions, forward and back. Okay, then we're gonna drop one arm down, other arm next to our ear, Keep our legs straight and big stretch over as far as you can. Make sure this arm stays really close to your head. Keep your belly pulled in really tight, no bent knees. And then we're gonna come back to center and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, keep that arm in really close. And back to center, okay? I want you to stand with your feet together. Arms up nice and tall. We're gonna try and make our hands, fingertips, whatever you can. Try to touch the floor, okay? If you can't touch the floor, touch the tops of your feet, but we don't want those knees to bend, okay? Go as far as you can without bending your knees. And hold that. Maybe try to pull your nose to your knees as well. Okay, and we're gonna take it to the ground, and we're gonna sit in our pike, okay? We're gonna do our point dummies, okay? Can't see my toes, but hopefully you guys remember how to do your point dummies. So we're gonna do our point dummy flex, dummy point, Point, demi, flex, demi, point, and maybe one more. Point, demi, flex, demi, point. Okay, make sure those toes are pointing down really hard towards the carpet. Arms up, really tall, 
We're gonna reach out towards our toes or put your hands down next to your ankles and slide as far as you can. Really trying to get the nose towards your knees, but no bending, okay? Make sure you're pushing down into the carpet and hold that maybe five seconds. And then we're gonna flex our feet, grab them with both hands and pull those heels up off the carpet. Big stretch in the backs of your legs. Okay, you can shake those out a little bit. And then we're gonna do our straddle, okay? As big as you can. Remember, don't go too big. If your knees are bending, it's probably too big. Okay, so pull them in a little bit, nice and tight. Point your toes, arms to the side, one arm across like a seatbelt. Big stretch up and big stretch over. Reaching for that foot as far as you can. Try to get your ear to your knee. And then back to center. And then other arm across, other arm up. Big stretch over, same thing on this side. And then up again. And now we're gonna try to reach out in the middle. So as far as you can, remember, don't let these knees roll forward. Make sure those knees are pointing up to the ceiling. Big stretch out as far as you can, trying to get something to touch the ground, okay? And pull it to butterfly. Pull those feet in nice and close. Try to push those knees down towards the carpet without hands. And then if you'd like, you can try it pushing with your hands. Push as far as you can. Try to get that part of your knee to touch the carpet. Okay, scoot out to diamond. And let's put our head down towards our feet. As far as you can go. Holding that. And back up. Now we're gonna do our wrist. So we're gonna go on our knees, okay? Sitting down on your feet, hands in front of your knees. We're gonna push down, rock forward. You like to do about three in each position, okay? Turn them out to the side and rock from side to side, okay? Then we're gonna turn them backwards so our fingers are facing our knees. Push your palms down, pushing forward. And then carefully, you can turn them upside down, put a little bit of pressure on them that way, not too much. And then you can roll them out, do your disco ball, your roller coaster, and shake them out. Okay, now we'll go into our split. So we're gonna sit up tall on our knees. I want you to pick one foot, okay? One foot in front, big step out so you can see your toe. You don't want it back here. Big step in front, hands on your knee, big push forward. Hold that, you guys can count to five, okay? And then we're gonna sit up and straighten this leg, one hand on each side, put our nose to our knee, make sure this leg is down in the back. Again, count to five. And then slide into your split, keeping one hand on each side, okay? When you get into the best split you can, I want you to see if you can hold your arms out to the side while you're in your splits, okay? Then we're gonna do the other side. Big step in front, hands on our knee, make sure that foot stays turned out. Big push forward. And then straighten that leg, one hand on each side, nose to your knee. And again, slide out as far as you can. Okay, one hand on each side. And when you get down, if you're down all the way, definitely have those arms out, okay? And hold that split without touching the floor. Okay, all right, now we're gonna go into our middle split. So we're gonna face one wall, whatever wall. We're gonna put elbows down, one leg on each, and slide as far as you can on your elbows, and hold. And if you wanna challenge, if you're really flexible, unlike myself, you're gonna hold your arms out, fingertips and straight arms like this, no belly touching, okay? That's a little more challenging, okay? All right, next thing I want you to do are bridges. Okay, I'm just gonna explain them. You're gonna start lying down in your pencil. So arms next to your ears, toes touching, okay? Those of you that have a really nice bridge, okay, see if you can't start your bridge with your feet together, hands next to your ears and keep those feet together in your bridge. Everybody else, if you're still learning a bridge or having some trouble, start with your feet apart and push up into your bridge. Hold your bridge for five seconds, two times. Okay guys, so the focus of our lesson today is balance beam, okay? So normally when you're in here and you're on balance beam, we like to use those over there, all different heights, low, medium, and high. 
but today I'm going to try to help you do some things um, where you actually have a line drawn, whether you draw a line on the sidewalk with chalk, and remember a beam is four inches wide. Um, if you're outside on concrete, make sure you have on tennis shoes. Um, inside your home, if you have tile or wood, same thing. If you do it with tape, four inches wide, again, I would use tennis shoes. Um, if you have a balance beam of any kind, um, whether it's low or a strip of something, then you're on a soft surface and you should be fine going barefoot, okay? So we're gonna go over some things that we normally do in class, starting out with just some basic walking and kicking and moving into some little bit harder things, okay? Okay, so remember, if you do have a balance beam of any kind at home, make sure you're using that, okay? But most of us probably don't, so I'm gonna teach you how to kind of visualize yourself on a beam on a line, okay? So the first thing we're gonna start, we're gonna get on the line, on the beam, make sure you have one foot slightly in front of the other. You don't want your feet side by side, okay? So we're gonna make sure our arms are out, really nice and straight to the side, fingers pretty, pressing back. Remember, you want your face up looking at the end of the line or the end of the balance beam while you're doing anything on balance beam, okay? We're gonna start with some releve walks. So we're gonna go up on our toes. We're gonna keep our eyes focused out. Make sure you stay one foot in front of the other on the line, okay? And if some of you guys already know how to do a pivot turn, you can do a little pivot turn at the end, okay? And then we're gonna do one more time on the way back. So high releve. This time you might wanna try your arms up next to your ears with your fingertips touching. Makes it a little harder to stay balanced, okay? Make sure your stomach's really, really tight. One foot in front of the other, okay? Next thing we're gonna try are some passe, okay? You might learn passe, you might learn coupe. I'll show you both, okay? So when we're walking in coupe or passe, arms out again, okay? Our coupe is when our toe touches at our ankle bone. Passe is when our toe is right next to our knee. So we're actually gonna do one pass of coupes and I'll turn around and do one pass of passe. Okay, so we're gonna take a step, one foot, and do high passe first. Knee as high as you can, toe touching that knee, arms out, nothing moving here. Okay, then I'm gonna turn around and then I'm gonna do my coupe. So those are lower to my ankle bone. Step, make sure your toe is pointing. Whoop, every time, a little hard with tennis shoes, but, and down, okay? Try some kicks. We're just gonna try to kick, making sure that both of our legs stay straight. Okay, so when I lift one leg up, this leg I'm standing on is not gonna bend. It's gonna stand up tall, okay? So arms out again, pressing back, and I'm just gonna do really nice, easy kicks. One foot in front of the other. Make sure you're staying on that line. Okay. If you want to try backward kicking, you can. Moving forward, but this time, kick your leg backwards. Okay, so tap, kick, tap. Okay, trying both legs. Okay. And we are going to do, how about a couple jumps? We'll do a couple jumps, okay? We're gonna try both feet. I'm gonna start with my right foot a little bit in front of my left. So my toe into the arch of my foot, okay? We're gonna start, arms up tall. We're gonna bend, jump, try to point your toes and land and squeeze really tight, okay? Make sure you show that landing position, okay? And then turn around and try the other foot. Some of us are righty, some of us are lefty, okay? So we're gonna try the other foot, keep those feet together in the air and when you land. All right guys, so we're gonna do a few T-lever drills to make your T-levers a little bit stronger and better. We use T-levers for handstands and cartwheels, so they're pretty important to learn. So we're gonna start with a drill. You're gonna start on your line, one foot, probably your favorite foot in front. We're gonna squat. We're gonna put both of our hands down on the line, okay? Then from there, all I want you to do is use one leg and lift it up and hold it. 
and then come down and then put that foot a little bit in front and then we're gonna try the other leg. So make sure the leg you're standing on is straight and lift the other leg as high as you can, pushing down on the line and then back to squat. Okay, this time we're gonna do, repeat what we just did, but this time we're gonna try to lift our hands up off the beam to balance on one foot. So it's more like an arabesque, okay? So we're gonna start in that squat. We're gonna put the hands down. Make sure you push down on the line, okay? We're gonna lift up one leg, okay? And then we're gonna try to slowly pull our arms up and balance, okay? Then we're gonna try it on the other leg, okay? You probably have one leg that's better than the other, which is good. So put the hands down, lift that leg up, straight bottom leg, and slowly hold your arms up. Okay, now we're gonna start standing. So we're gonna kind of put those things together that we just did. So I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna actually start with my right foot in front. I'm a righty, but we're gonna do both because I'm gonna be lifting up my left leg. This time I want your arms up next to your ears. Okay, we're gonna put the back leg out. You're going to show me a slow moving arabesque. Arabesque just means leg out straight behind you. And then you're going to slowly reach down, touch the line to your T lever position, and then come right back up. Okay, now we're going to use that T lever that we just did. But this time we're gonna do kind of like a donkey kick or small handstand, but your legs are gonna stay in a split position. They're not gonna come together yet, okay? So we're gonna start with that favorite foot in front, your arms up, take a big step, show your T lever, hands down on the line, small jump, and then land in your finishing shape in a lunge. Okay, now we're gonna make it a little more challenging so that small donkey kick you did with your feet apart, we're gonna now go together and then back open to our landing position, okay? Kick as high as you if you're comfortable. Some of you intermediate advanced kids, go ahead, kick all the way up to vertical. Hold that handstand if you can, okay? Everybody else, we're just gonna try to bring our feet together before we finish. Big step, T lever, hands down, feet together, and landing shape. Okay, so now on your line, we're nice and safe down here on the floor, we're gonna practice doing our cartwheels, okay? So I am a righty, I'm standing on my line, I have my right foot in front, everything is facing towards the end of the balance beam, okay? I'm gonna start with my arms up, make sure you show that T lever again. I'm gonna put those hands on the line and then make both of my feet land on the line. So big step out, T lever, cartwheel, and finish. Now we're gonna try your side handstand, okay? Obviously it's gonna be a little trickier just cause you don't have the raised beam, but we're gonna start it like we do our cartwheel, going into it like a cartwheel, but this time your feet are gonna come together in a handstand, okay? You're gonna see if you can hold it before you actually come down to the floor. So we're gonna start in that lunge. We're gonna do our lever. We're gonna kick up and then come back down. Just a few options for you guys to kind of play around with. Some of you intermediate advanced kids that probably have already gotten your cartwheels or your handstands on beam. Um, you can try just simply lying down or sitting on the line, okay? And when you go back, you're gonna try a bridge. You're gonna put both hands behind you, okay? Actually on the line, okay? And both of your feet on the line and you're gonna push up into your bridge, okay? From there, after you've done a bridge and, and gotten balanced, you can try to do your bridge and then hold one leg up in your bridge, okay? So balancing on one leg. Once you feel comfortable doing that, you can try to go bridge, leg up, and then kick over and make sure everything stays on the line, just like your handstands and your cartwheels, hands touch the line, feet touch the line. If you have a back walk over and you feel comfortable, you can start on the line, one leg out, and go into your back walk over and practice staying on the line. Okay, so those are just a couple things that you guys can challenge yourself with. Okay, now just for some dance things, you guys can do and practice some jumping, okay? 
So we're gonna start with the tuck jump. So you wanna make sure again, one foot in front of the other, your good foot in front. You're gonna start with your arms down behind your hips. We're gonna jump and do a tuck jump. You wanna make sure your knees are coming up to your stomach and not back, you don't want your feet touching your booty, okay? So we're gonna start with our arms down, we're gonna jump, and then make sure your feet are leaning back on the line, okay? And then the other jump you can try is split jump, okay? So make sure, again, your feet are on the line. This time when we jump, our arms are gonna go out to the side when we hit our split in the air. So we're gonna start down, then, and then make sure you land nice and tight on the line. Right, guys thanks so much for joining us uh, with our lesson and um, we really miss you guys we look forward to seeing you again really soon and just keep watching out for our videos okay so we'll see you next time